Hello guys, I'm Mora and today I'll be solving yet another physics problem for you. So, um, the problem I'm solving here is the chapter 8, center 3rd question in University Physics book by Jan and Friedman. Okay, so um, in the question we have two objects, the one on the left which is going to, um, which is going in the positive uh, direction, let's just positive x direction, with a speed of um, 12 meters per second, okay? And the other is at rest. Then uh, this object collides with the other and sticks to it. Then they start moving together and, you know, uh, running uphill. Then, um, in the question, we need to find the maximum height of this, of this um, collided object, okay? If you want to do the question yourself, you may stop the video now, I'll wait for a few seconds, and then um, I'll start. Okay, so, um, what comes to our mind first? It should be the um, conversation laws and physics. And which type of conversations we have in physics? You might think um, momentum and energy. Those are if, um, sufficient for this problem, okay? So, um, for this collidement, for this collision actually, um, we can think of the moment conversation of momentum, which we have, which we know as p initial equals p final, because we don't have any external force on the system. Okay, so let's just calculate p initial. P initial equals, as you know, the formula of momentum. We have five kilograms times twelve meters per second. Then we have sixty kilograms meter per second, and that has to be equal to the p final. Then we have the p final, our final object, the um, collided object, this one, uh, the two of them who is sticking to each other, has mass of 10 kilograms, okay? That's why I'm writing 5 plus 5 here. Then we have the, their final speed, so, but we don't know what speed they are moving with, so we have to calculate that. Since we know p final, which is equal to 60, and their mass, we have the speed, 6 meters per second. So, um, moving on to the second part of this question is the energy conversation laws. So, as you know, energy conversation, if there are no um, external forces, it is written as kinetic energies, initial, initial kinetic energy plus initial um, potential energy is equal to final kinetic energy plus final potential energy. If there was you know, um, an external force on the system, we would, we would simply write, we would simply add uh, the total work done to the left hand side of this equation, okay? But in this question, we don't have any external force, so we don't need it. So, um, writing it, we have zero um, potential energy as I'm taking this level to be the ground. Then we have one half times 10 times 6 squared equals. This is, you know, um, our kinetic, initial kinetic energy, and this is equal to the final potential energy. And this zero indicates our um, final kinetic energy. Why zero, you might ask? Because, you know, uh, for this to be the maximum um, value of itself, this has to be zero. Um, you see that kinetic energy cannot go below zero, so it has to be zero for this to be maximum, okay? So we have, if you do the calculations, we have h max of 1.8 meters. That is the solution of this video. If you have any questions, you may leave a comment or ask, just ask your professors about it. Thank you.